Let's start from the beginning. All right. You're from the Bay Area, correct? Yep. Born and raised in uh, Oakland, California. Nice, nice. What was your upbringing like? Um, I had a little bit of a, a mixed upbringing. So I, uh, I was, you know, born in, in East Oakland. And my uh, father, um, my father was out of my life by the time I was five. And my father was actually an incredibly intelligent um, and educated man. He was a lawyer, um, but he got sucked into some bad stuff um, and drugs were involved. And he was out of my life by the time I was five. Um, my permanently? mother- Permanently. Um, yeah. I mean, I, I, I maybe saw him, I saw him once when I was uh, maybe 16. Um, and then that's it. And then, and then he passed away when I was 24. Oh, wow. So, uh, so he was, yeah, so he was basically, I didn't really have a relationship with him, um, since I was five. Now my, my mother, um, you know, during that time she was going through, through medical school and she actually became a doctor. And, um, you know, when they divorced and split, you know, there was a lot of money issues. We bounced around, we lived in different, you know, different different houses we live with friends um and we ended up moving into my mom wanted to get us into a good uh school zone right zip code um so we can go to one of the better public schools in oakland and so we ended up moving into the oakland hills and living with these three ethiopian women so we like all got together in a house and shared this house with these three ethiopian women so that we could be in the in the good school uh, school uh, district. district. Uh -huh. um, so anyway, um, and so I, I say that to say that like I was fortunate that uh, my mom found ways to get me exposed to other ways of life and, and other things, right? And so anyway, I came up, um, you know, in Oakland. Um, I went to Skyline High School. You know, I was sort of. Um, typical teenager, you know, getting in a lot of trouble and, um, you know, had father issues and, and all that stuff. And I was running around Oakland doing, uh, you know, mischief, let's just say. And, and a teenager. Uh, yeah. And um, I ended up going to, um, I ended up going to Hampton University for college. Okay, HBCU. Why go from the West Coast city um, to the East Coast? Why was going to an HBCU so important to you? I'm be a hundred percent honest with you. Uh -huh. I wasn't even planning on going to college, but my best friend at the time, his his parents were super strict, and he was very he was like really he always knew what he wanted to do when he grew up and everything, and he went on a black college tour. And he came back and he was like, look, it's hella girls at Hampton. <laughs> and he was like, I, and I was like, well, shit, then we're going to Hampton. Let's go. And that, that like, that was my, that was my energy at the time. Like I, I, I had no plan, but I was just with whatever the action was. Can, can and, we stop there for one second? Yeah. Your dad's yeah. a lawyer. Even though he's not in your life, obviously he's an yeah. educated man. Your mom's yeah. in the medical field. She becomes a doctor. Yeah. So yeah. I have to assume that, number one, education was big in your household. Is that correct? I, you know, your mom moved you to this really good school district, so she's looking out for your future. So I will put it like this. Um, so my mom is, she was very hippie, right? Yeah. We're talking like Bay Area, Oakland, San Francisco, fight the power, hippie type of, you know, new age. And her style of raising me was very much, um, you do what you want to do. You are who you are. And she didn't push things on me like that. And just to give you another sense of that, like my last name, Emira, it's not my mom or my dad's last name. They really? made up. They made up my last name out of a combination of 
both of their heritages. My dad took an African word, my mom took a, a Russian word and they put it together and made my last name um, because they wanted me to be my own person. And my dad didn't want to give me the slave name. Um, but that's the sort of like- but Your dad's African American and your mom is yeah. Russian, correct? She's Russian, yeah. Russian wow. Jewish, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. And so she, you know, so they, they wanted me to just be my own entity. And, um, and so anyway, that's just the sort of like energy that was carried in, in my, in my upbringing. It wasn't like, you're going to go to college and you're going to do this and you're going to do that. And you need, like, I didn't have that. It was very much a, like, what do you want to do? And whatever you want to do, you, you live and you die with those consequences, but I'll support you, whatever it is that you choose to do. And so I didn't have like a lot of pressure to make those decisions in high school. Um, and so I was really just about adventure. What's that? No, I said, I'm sorry, go ahead. Yeah, I didn't have those, that type of pressure to make those decisions the way a lot of people, a lot of people did. So um, I was really just about adventure and I, I really just wanted to be wherever the action was. That was just sort of my, my vibe. So I was chasing fun and I was chasing, I was chasing trouble and I was chasing activity and action. And so, um, you know, my best friend was like going to Hampton and there's action. So I was like, yo, let's go, let's get out of here. And that's how I ended up in Hampton. I wish I could say that I was like, you know, I want to support and be part of the, you know, do HBCUs and all that. But that really was not how, how I was thinking. I, I didn't have a sophisticated way of thinking at that time. You know, got so, you. Yeah. What'd you major in? So um, I ended up majoring in sociology, um, and I I picked that after my first year. Those were the classes that I just loved. Like I was fascinated by why people do what they do, like why groups of people do what they do. And to me, that was about, that was really like, if I understand why groups of people do what they do, I can figure out anything. Because everything is just about groups of people getting together and doing things. That's what everything is made out of. And so that's what like, that's what, what fascinated me. And I ended up being a um, sociology major. Um, and one of the things that really changed my trajectory and changed my, my life was during college, I, um, I found the uh, International Studies Department at Hampton. And um, I ended up, you know, basically creating a, like a mentor out of the, the woman who ran that department. Uh, there was hardly any other students were coming in there looking for opportunities. And I was in there, again, looking for action, looking for adventure. And she was like, you could go to Japan for a semester. And so in my sophomore year of college, I, I went to Japan and I studied out there for, for six months. And then so that really as early as your life. sophomore year, you were studying abroad? Yeah, 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 yeah. My first semester of sophomore year, I was out of there. Nice. I, I just wanted to, I just wanted to like, I, and I've always been like that. Like, I always want to see what's over there. I want to see what's on the other side of that fence. I want to go see what's out there. That was, that's always been my drive. And so, um, yeah, I was, so I was like 19 years old. I ended up and I'm, I landed in Tokyo and, and then I was running around Tokyo for, for six months. Um, and, uh, and you know, funny enough, uh, there was a there was a, a girl in that same program who had come from Spelman was on that same program, mm -hmm. and fast forward, whatever, fifteen years later, like she was the first person to write a check to Maven and invest in Maven. No way. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.